Hi, welcome to Indian Recaps. Today I will explain a 2012 thriller movie called Jism 2. So, grab something to eat and relax. The story starts when Isna, a porn star who is recovering from a breakup, meets Ion Takur in a pub. She seduces him by sensually dancing in front of him. He follows her to her room and they have sex later that night. In the morning, Ion reveals himself as an intelligence officer, and that he has been following her for some time. He asks her to do a confidential job for them but didn't tell her what the job is. Reluctantly she agrees but in return she demands $1.5 million. Next day, they meet the security chief Saldana. He tells her that she was being hired to be a honey trap, and help them retrieve critical information from a dreaded assassin Kabir. But when she saw a picture of Kabir, she was shocked. She then reveals that Kabir was her ex-boyfriend when Kabir himself used to work for the intelligence. And she explains how they met. Isna was being used for drug peddling in a pub during one of Kabir's missions. She was unaware of the things she had in her bag. Kabir then goes into the pub after Isna and arrests the guilty drug peddlers by shooting their leader. He then asks Isna to meet him outside. Isna explained that she was innocent. Kabir took a coin from her purse and tosses it, and then lets her go saying that the coin saved her from an arrest. He had earlier seen her pick that coin from the street after she dropped it, something a person in a drug cartel would not do. That night when Kabir reached home, he had a feeling that someone is hiding there. When he pointed his gun there was Isna waiting for him. When asked what she was doing there, she says she wanted to thank him for what he did for her. She then gave him a letter, which was actually a love letter written in her own blood. Kabir tells her this is not love but madness, but Isna believes that madness is a part of love. She then leans forward to kiss him and they have sex. Both started loving each other, but one day, Kabir disappeared without any word. Six years had passed and Isna did not find him despite many efforts. All she wanted now was to take her revenge on Kabir, so she agrees to the mission. She is then taken to a residential colony in Sri Lanka, where Kabir lived with an identity of a musician. Isna is asked to act as Ayan's fiancé and is given a storybook. She was told to read the pages marked in the book and remember it as the story of how they both met each other. Isna is then asked to go to Kabir's house to introduce herself as his new neighbor, but he acts as if he does not recognize her. Kabir then calls one of his friend, and asks him to find out the details of the man who is with Isna, as he thinks they are there to spy on him. Meanwhile Isna couldn't believe that Kabir behaved as if they don't know each other. So, she asks Ion to leave her alone for a while, thinking that his absence could lure Kabir to come to her. Ion agrees and leaves the place. Seeing this Kabir goes to Isna's house and when he sees her, he writes sorry on her window in his blood, but flees as soon as a phone call comes. After that Kabir attacks Saldana's team in their base with his friend Sumit, who gave him the information about their base. Saldana manages to escape from Kabir's attack. Kabir threatens them by saying he will come after every one of them. Isna, Ion and Saldana meets after this attack. Saldana plans to stop the operations for now because of the attack. Ion also thinks that it would be dangerous for Isna if they decides to continue. But Isna is not ready to drop it and wants her revenge for what Kabir has done to her. Ion reluctantly agrees to her. The next day Kabir gets a call from his friend Sumit confirming that his neighbors are not spies. He also finds a letter from Isna outside his house. In the letter she says she wants to meet him in a jungle near highway. Kabir leaves to meet her. During this time Ion moves to Kabir's house to steal the data. When he copies data from Kabir's laptop, it gives Kabir an alert to his phone, and Kabir runs towards his house. Ion escapes with the data, but he later discovers that it had all been falsified. Kabir then confronts Isna, asking her to reveal who her fiancé is. He thinks that he is an intelligence officer, but Isna tells her the story about how they met, but he is not convinced. Filled with rage he threatens to shoot her on the count of 10 if she doesn't tell the truth. She is terrified but didn't tell him the truth. When he counts to 10 he puts his gun down and kisses her, saying he is sorry for pointing the gun at her, but he had to make sure he was safe. Then, Kabir proposes to marry her, and asks Isna to shift to his house and leave Ion. Isna agrees to this. In the meantime, Ion, who has fallen for Isna, is angered upon hearing this. She convinces him that she will only be able to steal the data once she gets into Kabir's house. And he agrees. Next day, Kabir asks Sumit to arrange for a priest for the marriage. Sumit warns him about Isna as he thinks it is not a good decision. But Kabir wants to start a new life with Isna. That day Isna leaves Ion and goes to Kabir's house. Later that day, Kabir takes her to a secret place where he had stored the coin and the love letter that Isna gave him, when they met for the first time. Isna now understood how much she mattered to him. Kabir then asks her to save him from his current life and they start loving each other again. Later that night when Ion reached his home, Sumit attacks him and takes his phone. He finds all the messages that Ion sent to Isna about the mission. This confirmed his suspicions. 
Filled with rage, Sumit tries to kill Ion, but instead, he gets killed in a gun battle. Ion then buries Sumit's body near the sea. He then calls Isna and expresses his fears that they can no longer play this risky game, because when Kabir finds out that Sumit is killed, he will kill Isna. He also asks her to meet him near the lighthouse as soon as possible. She agrees, and tells Kabir she is going for a walk. Kabir gives her a gun which she refuses to take. But when Kabir insists and tells her that it is for her own safety, she takes it. After Isna left, Kabir goes to Ayan's house and sees Sumit's hearing aid lying on the floor. To find out more about Sumit's missing, Kabir searches the house and ends up discovering the book inside Isna's bag which had the story she narrated. Kabir is now heartbroken, and furious with Isna and Ayan. He decides to wait for her. Meanwhile near the lighthouse, Ayan gives her a poison and asks her to mix it into Kabir's drink as they can't afford to take more risks at this point. Isna doesn't want to kill him and did not agree to this. But when Ayan says she is still in love with Kabir and has not moved on in her life, she says she would do it to prove him wrong. Upon returning to Kabir's house, she blends the poison into a cup of coffee and offers it to him. But Kabir knew this was coming. He console her by saying that is not her fault. He also reveals that years ago, he had left Isna for a sting operation, only to discover during the operation, that the country's own officers, security forces, and politicians were corrupt. Therefore, he had shortlisted them and then he had them killed. According to Kabir, he was a patriot, not a terrorist. Dumping out the poison coffee, Kabir tells Isna that Saldana is a fraud who works for the war industry, and his team, imposters who will kill Isna once they get the hard disk containing the original data. He asks Isna to escape and offers her a new passport, flight tickets, and access to an account maintained at a Swiss bank from which she can withdraw unlimited money. When Kabir hugs and kisses her before their separation, Isna shoots him in the belly, and Kabir dies. Running away with the hard disk containing the original data, she goes to Saldana and hands over the hard disk to him. However, she is soon surprised to know that Saldana is indeed a fraud as Kabir revealed, and that after the task, she was supposed to have been killed. Ion was given this responsibility, but he couldn't do it as he was in love with her. So Saldana tries to kill Isna himself. But Ion tackles him and chokes him to death. At this point Isna is scared to death. When Ion approaches her, in tears, she tells him that because of their fraudulent mission, she killed an innocent person and that too the love of her life, who blindly trusted her. Then Ion confessed her love for her, but Isna says that she would prefer to die with Kabir than live with Ion, and attempts to leave with a hard disk. Ion threatens to shoot Isna if she leaves the house, but Isna leaves the house without taking him seriously. Ion follows her and then shoots her in the back. The movie ends when Ion approaches her and turns her over. Still alive, Isna shoots Ion twice with the gun given to her by Kabir and kills him. If you like this, here is another video that you should watch.